Welcome back to Let's Play Grand Prix Legends. It's been a very long time since my last episode, something like uh, eight months or so. Lots of reasons for the delay, but uh, I won't go into all of them here. Uh, I will mention, however, that I've had a major upgrade to my computer system, and recording these episodes should be a lot easier and quicker now, uh, not to mention that they'll look a bit better and uh, they'll look a lot smoother. So to get back into the swing of things, I thought I'd do a quick special episode today. Uh, one of the things that I mentioned in the first episode was that I wanted to showcase some of the various mods that people have created for GPL. So today I'm going to be featuring the Can-Am 71 mod, and as the name suggests, the mod represents the Can-Am series from 1971. And just for a, a real quick history lesson here, um, and most of this information I'm pulling right off of Wikipedia's page for the Can-Am series, uh, the Canadian American Challenge Cup, or Can-Am series, uh, ran from 1966 to 1987. It started out as a race series for Group 7 sports racers, with two races in Canada and four races in the United States. And it was governed under the FIA Group 7 category, with unrestricted engine sizes and few technical reg regulations. The cars were as close to close as any major international racing series ever got to anything goes. As long as the car had two seats and bodywork closing the wheels and met basic safety standards, it was legal. In the early years of the series, it was largely dominated by McLaren, with Bruce McLaren Motor Racing taking the championship in 1967, 1968, 1969, 1970, and 1971. Uh, but for today's race, I'm going to be driving the McLaren M8BCE, which won the championship in 1969 and was used by privateers in 1971. Um, I've had pretty little practice time and, and haven't really worked on a setup at all since I kind of consider this a, a special event. We're at Riverside International Raceway in Riverside, California. Uh, this was a road course that, uh, that used to exist. It was closed down after the 1988 season. Um, I did manage to qualify fourth despite a lack of practice um, behind Joe Sifford, Denny Holm, Peter Revson. Um, and then myself, and in 5th place Mario Andretti, and 6th went to Jackie Stewart. Uh, so with that, let's go to the race! Alright, here we are for the start of the first Can-Am series race of this Let's Play Grand Prix Legends series. The start flag is up, and it's down. A lot of wheel spin at the start there. These cars have so much power, it can be difficult to put it down. But I think I may have just beaten out Peter Refson at the start there. Made up a position at the start. Excellent. Oh, that was close. Oh, I ran into Denny Holm there. I got a little bit too aggressive under braking. and almost got back past me. I missed a shift at the beginning of that straightaway and really affected my acceleration. This, trick, this corner can be really tricky with the amount of trail braking you have to do into the corner. There you can see I spun the tires up again in first gear. Looks like at the start shift again. I think that I might be having a timing issue with this mod while I'm recording. It seems to work fine normally, but whenever I record it seems like I just don't quite have the timing correct for my shifting. Closing in on Denny Holm in a major way now. Hopefully that can 
turn into a, a second place position for me. Seems like I really closed down on him under those through those S's in the braking zones. And I know that I did that on the first lap as well. Maybe I can take advantage of that later in the race.
car is still off the track over there. I think I did definitely close down on Denny in the last lap, but I'm just going to run out of time, I think, before the end of this lap to be able to pass him. We're entering the section of the course where he's so much quicker than I am. Yeah, just look at him just drive away from me there. But that's alright, I'll take third. Podium finish. Last corner of the race. Oh, he went all wide. I think he was overcompensating for that slow car on the inside. Oh, I almost got to the inside of him. I think he's just going to be able to drive away. Yeah, third place. Hey, I'll take it. It's a good race. Not too much action as, as far as uh, not too many passes. Didn't seem like I was going to get Denny there a little bit, but just had that one mistake where I went off course. Yeah, actually, there was a fair amount of action then, wasn't there? This, it looks like Mario Andretti here, right behind me. He must have finished in fourth. Should have left Revson in fifth, and there he goes. Jackie Stewart. So, unlike some of the earlier episodes, after I finish my little cooldown lap here, I'm actually going to show a bit of footage from this race from, uh, from some of the, the, the other camera angles, some of the TV camera angles, just so you can kind of get an idea of, of this track, which is already you know, an, an additional track that you can download, but also to give you an idea of what some of these cars look like, since they are car is specific to this mod. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> Let's not have an accident on the cooldown lap, huh? Give a wave to the fans as we go by. up here. I think I already missed my pit stall, so this is good enough. Yeah, so Joe Sifford finished in first place, Denny Holm second, and me third. Good race for me. It was Mario Andretti in fourth, followed by Peter Refson and Jackie Stewart. David Hobbs finished seventh. And, uh, see the list of drivers who didn't finish. So not a bad race, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to do a few more of these episodes soon and get some more action in the 1965 Formula One series. Uh, I believe the next race that I had coming up was the Syracuse race in, in Italy, uh, but I'm not sure about that. I'll have to check. But uh, either way, I'm going to leave you with a little bit of footage here from the race. And I'll see you next time.